Hello everybody, it's Ginger here. Welcome back to another one of my videos. And today we're going to be back to my flowers. I love flowers. Um, and today it's going to be more daisies. Now, back in my school days, we used to make daisy caterpillars. Do any of you guys have ever made daisy caterpillars? Do you even know what I mean when I say daisy caterpillars? Basically, you take a daisy, like... Um, more like kind of general grass daisies. So they're a lot smaller. They're about the size of a cent or um, a two pence piece in the UK. And they have a long, a long, very long, thin stem. But they're very small, these daisies. They have a long, thin stem. Some have a long, thin stem. So you take one of those. And then what you do is you take another one and you turn it over. And where the green part meets the stem behind all the petals, you pinch it out. And it, for and it leaves a little hole. And actually, that hole goes right the way through the yellow centre on the other side. So what you then do is you take your, long, the, your daisy head with the long stem and you poke the end of the stem through the back of the daisy f flower head without the stem and you push it right the way through and it goes through really easily and you slide that all the way down to the bottom where it meets the head of the, on the long stem one. And then basically you just keep picking daisies, taking the stem off and threading it on until you have a long white and yellow and green furry caterpillar of heads of daisies. Um, and it, they feel so silky to touch. You can run your fingers across them and they feel really silky to the touch. I mean, obviously there's the standard daisy chains, but you took them to a whole nother level when you made caterpillars. So we're going to be doing daisies today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with a base layer. I'm just thinking, how dark do I want to go? I don't actually want to go too dark. Um, no, dark, dark, but not too dark. What I really need is oh, like a, a darkish red. I want to go red for my underpainting. So um, what I want to do is mark out some of these flowers. So we got so we want the main cluster. Kind of here with some thin ones there and there another little little one there and then we've got this one kind of off to the side which is there which kind of helps take us off that way so it gives the perception of um a perception and an illusion that we're only seeing a short a small square of what is a larger picture which is kind of how you want it really you want to be able to give people the feeling of more without giving without having to go over the top and giving them more because you can't always do that in a painting and it's not always appropriate you know because you end up with too much detail and a lot of problems if you do that so then there's a thin one here and then we've got a open pointing one that way we've got another one here i'm just kind of picking the ones that visually make sense in this painter in this photo so you know that that seems good to me i don't want to do too many because otherwise it's going to get too complicated so now i'm gonna i know i've got a lot this is kind of like a dark brick red for those that want to know it's quite warm it's a warm red and this is a uh, canson made tents touch so it's a sanded paper so it is if i show you that way and then turn it you can kind of see how much it's eating into this pastel um which is fine um this is a, a small chunk of the actual hole it's just quite, it is dark quite a way up so and i want to leave space for you know all those background daisies that are blurry blobs but are there Right, okay, well, that's better. Right, now we're going to get our water. I'm going to make this ridiculously messy. But I'm going to start from the bottom up. Because I could do this not running. Look how beautiful that colour is. I know everyone's very into kind of hot pinks and purples at the moment, but I like a good earthy tone sometimes. It, it just really is grounded. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. How can you not like brick red? Hmm? Who else here likes brick red? Put your hands up, or at least in the chat, put your hands up. Anyone else want to comment? Put it in the comments. 
what is your favourite colour for doing underpaintings in? If you were doing one colour underpaintings, what would it be? Would it be a red? Purple? Well, it depends, well, I suppose, really. Even in this, you know, it kind of depends on your underlying tone in the painting. I want this to have a nice warm tone, so I'm using a warm colour. Um, but I didn't have to use red. I could use a warm yellow, an ochre, an orange, a warm blue, a warm purple. But I chose red because I kind of like it, or at least this one anyway. So if you have any preferences, you know, please let us know. I'm going to drop the camera a tiny bit. Not too far. There we go. Must have knocked you earlier. Sorry, you're all bouncy and getting seasick there. I think I've painted over some of those these daisies, but that doesn't matter. This is going to be one of the things I really uh, I want to get in quite early on, just because I don't want to lose them. Right. How lovely that red is obviously it dries a lot dries a lot paler more like a kind of neutral color but it's still pretty dark when you think about it and i'm splatting water everywhere and the cat suddenly is pricked up and looking at me like what are you doing am i going to get wet do i need to leave she's quite she's happy to chew on my paintbrushes but when it comes to me rinsing paintbrushes she's a mile before i've even considered it right that's drying. I mean, you guys can see that in the, the video, but yeah, you can see that it's drying pretty fast, which is good. Now, this is going to be another one of my quick evening paintings. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I just want to get something down. I just... I've had a long day at work, it's been tough this week, and I just just want to, you know, have a little bit of creative time and, and have some play. Look at that, it's dry already. I love men, the me tent stuff. It just, it's so good for drying so quickly. Um, what do I want? I actually want, I want to put a purple down, but I don't want to put too dark purple down, because I want to use the dark green anyway. But... So we've got, so this is quite a nice purple, because it's not, but I'm going to try and keep it in streaks, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of very obvious stems in this reference photo, which I kind of like, I don't always like drawing in too many stems, but I kind of like this, so, so we're going to put that in, so there's our purple. And it is lighter at the bottom. So, what do we want to do? Yeah, I think I might need to go darken that, but I do want to keep that colour. I want to go darken that, so. So, I've got the pastel on a slight slant as I'm. And going up. So it's kind of smaller in this area and then it kind of widens out to quite a, a bigger darker area over here, which I'm just going to put in. Right, there you go, it's looking suitably messy. Should I call that a work of art and call it quits? No. All the dust, right. Now, I want to get in these daisies before I go any further. What I want to do is, do I want to do it with, do I want to do it with a violet or do I want to do it with a violet pink? I've got a nice violet pink. So it's not, it's not really the brightest colour, but it's going to be a lovely kind of mid-tone. So this is it here. I know it looks really, really light. It's not as, as light. For example, let's see if I can pull out. 
Yeah, I don't know if you can even see the difference between those two, but that one is darker than that one. But only just. Maybe I should go a bit darker, maybe, for this bit. Um, so, yeah, I might go this darker instead. All right. So, this one here is our weird... Weird spiky one. Yeah, it's not quite great, but what I really need is just to kind of just get that colour down. We've got a small one here. I'm not looking for massive details, although I keep picking up the green, which is not helping. Um, I'm just looking for blobs. Just looking for blobs. I like that. Just looking for blobs. Because that kind of just gives me where they are. Um, there's actually a little one here that I want to get in. It's not much, but it's just little. But it does kind of tie in. There's also one here, which is kind of sneakily behind this one. It's not massive. But I kind of feel like I want that in there. Um, you know, these shouldn't be loads of individual flowers, because that doesn't work. Um, you know that's that's not how that's not how nature works nature does not lovingly spread them all out as individual flowers um they are chaotic in some respects you know they crowd each other they get in each other's faces they have fun they co they form little groups and little cliques they entwine with each other they have husbands wives children little communities but they do not in nature sit as regimented individual flowers and that's kind of the fun of it really if you think about it you want that you want that random chaotic nature that says I'm a flower I'm doing my own thing There's another one Right, so you can kind of see where all these are, just helping. And there. They also, these, these little daisies are like, there's so many different shapes. You're kind of like looking at it going, what is, what are these things doing? Kind of slightly wind batted. and still... Some that haven't opened, which are really cute, like that, that hasn't opened. Um, there's another one down here that hasn't opened. There's also another one here. And then there's like a, kind of blob one there. And then we've got this one, which I'm just going to, I know it's slightly fuzzy in the reference photo, this one, but... I just quite like the shape of it and it's kind of a weird focal point so I'm going to stick that in there and then it had this one next to it which kind of long on one side and then short at the front and then we've got this one up here which is kind of a bit more kind of classic daisy shape up there and it had another one underneath it doing almost the same actually, just slightly smaller. So I'm quite happy with how many daisies I've got down. But what I now do is I just want to add in just little patches of this colour where where the rest of them are. So obviously, the more you go up, this is where I'm putting all this messed up map, but there we go. I'm going to put this violet across the top from, because this is where, the further away, they just 
the lighter colours kind of take over from the grasses, especially with flowers. So the further away they are, the more they look like um, you've got loads of them. And they kind of clump together to form like little bands and, and groups of colour, but not flowers. Now, they're also in a very much in a vertical line when you look at them. Um, and that dis it's distance that creates that, because whilst flowers are cha chaotic in nature and the way they're growing, um, when you view them from a distance, bunched together in fields and things, they tend to form natural lines. I've never really fully understood that, so if anybody actually knows this kind of scientific reason for why um, visually it looks like that, please go ahead and put it in the comments below. But... Otherwise, it's a strange phenomenon that's kind of nice. kind of like it. Right. That's that. Okay. Right. I need to get some of these greens in um there's a lot of this all these greens in the back i feel like i've lost a green somewhere and i don't know where it's gone that's fine got enough of this to go right so this is one of my is this a unison i've just broken that and then didn't even bother to read it Nope, this is a Mount Vision. So this is a Mount Vision. It's a bit more rounded at the top, if you see. Kind of a bit of a telling sign for a Mount Vision. This is a Mount Vision 61. So it's a kind of yellow. It's a yellow green. I'm not really sure how to describe it, to be honest. There isn't much of it in this. So I don't really want to bring loads of it in but there is some and mostly at the top where it's lightest and where the sun's hitting the most really enough not in not in this top corner um and there's some kind of dotted around but not much Kind of more more of it on this side than the other because the other side's slightly darker so there is some down here but i've got more of the dark green to put in anyway so i'm not too fussed at the minute right that's better that gives me light and dark I'll put more of this dark in now so I can get a better idea where we're going. That's a bit better. Um, so you can see. We've got our swathe going this way, it's darker here, and across to here, which is kind of what we want. 
Um, it's actually quite dark in between all these. And yes, I know it still looks very messy, but we will be pulling this all together soon when I start adding in the next colours. So, do you want is to mark out the centres of these daisies. I also want to get in one of the other greens. So, so I had this green earlier. This is uh, this is a blue green, so you can just about see. Uh, maybe it's a slightly different color there's just bits of it every here and there so i just want to add just little touches i want it to be it's supposed to be cooler in the distance not the foreground but in this case there is a lot it's a lot cooler um a lot cooler in the foreground than it is in the distance so it's a little bit deceptive, really, when you see it. If anyone wonders, I am stopping to drink in between. I have um, a glass of M&S Tiramisu Cream Liqueur. So it's coffee, chocolate, cream liqueur with uh, Scottish whiskey. A single malt. It's really nice, actually. Um, I don't usually treat myself, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice to have. I sincerely wish I could share it all with you. Solange, people, Solange. Right, um, try to decide, do I want to go for this? It's annoying me because I know that there is a very small amount of a greeny brown popping in here and there, which I kind of want to do, but also kind of don't want to do. I'm quite liking it, so I'm going to do more of it. Still looking messy, but don't worry. I am looking for a lighter green. I don't want it. I don't want it too yellowy. No, I don't like that. another new pastel. That's a bit better.
Right, now we're starting to bring some of this green back in, which is great. Right, better. Now, let's bring back the flowers. What I'd like to do is start with, we've got the white. Oh, we've got the white, we've got the violet. And then, going to push this out there we go so there's one right bang in the middle and then we've got I'm pressing, I'm just grabbing the box and pressing quite hard because it's kind of what I want. And then that's kind of countered by this one. There's another one. Now I want to keep that light colour because actually it's only touched, it's only got a little, like a little bit it's actually catching the light because the bigger one that's in front of it is where the light is. There's another one. We've got these little ones down here that are just so cute. There's another one. Hopefully you guys can still see alright because the more I press on the board the more it's kind of slowly sliding backwards. Some I want to have more well-defined petals than others, some I don't. I just want to... And then we've got another one here. So it's got kind of... we got a... Open that and then this one here. All these little little buds are so cute.
This one's not. Mm. Two that way. I was going to one that way. Like that. If that makes sense. Oh, sorry guys. Didn't mean to knock you. Let's bring you oh, too far. I'm going to make sure that you can actually see. I think I've knocked the camera, which isn't helping. There we go. That's a bit better, isn't it? Now, down here, I think I've got two that are really close to... I've put two really close together. So, I think what I want to do is... I'll do the bottom one, which is... And then behind it... One of that. Right, we are slowly, slowly getting there. I need to just just this little one here that's annoying me. There we go. Okay, so these are all much the same as the other ones, where they're just they're a bit more flat. do is add in like that. I don't want too much but I do want enough to say well these are the other flowers in the background. I'm going to try and get things in different directions because at the moment it is very kind of static. I don't like it. I'm just going to use my finger to kind of switch it out slightly.
Right, that's a bit better. Okay, I want to get in this, um, these centers. I want to use a really vibrant orange. I've got this, it's a blue earth. This is um, 05A. If you can see that, yeah, there we go. And I just want to get that in because I'm going to be adding this lighter yellow over the top. So it makes no difference to me, but it gives me this beautiful ground. So we know we've got one there and then one there. See how much more that suddenly comes to life once you start adding centers, which is great. Right, now what I want to do is I want to get in so these stalks. So these were daisies, they also need to have this. This is the, the bit that holds kind of the holds the petals together. So that's just starting to bring kind of some of the stalks in with this, this blue green, which is fine because I'm going to add the lighter one in because as you'll see um, in the photo, the light's actually catching on quite a bit of this. Okay, All right, now we've got a bit more stalks in. This is still annoying me. It's just because it's easy too much. That's a bit better. This is still too blobby. No. 
Right. So, we can look at our final colours for the flowers. Which, got this yellow cream. This is another Blue Earth. This is Y7C. One of these days I'll work out actually what they mean. Or at least take the time to research what they mean. No, I'm still not aiming for petals. I'm still not really aiming for anything. I'm just trying to go right. Well, this is kind of what I want. That one. Better. We're going to wander again, it seems. There we go. I want to just keep these as the foreground ones. because it's hiding that one behind, so I'm going to keep that one in the behind. Um, same with this one, but I want this one. Bright. I also want just the tips of this one bright. And the same with this one. That's a bit better, right? Add some more of this, this in. I kind of lost some of this. I will also add some of the, some of the darks back in as well. Just because. Because when you're working like this, you do tend to lose your darks as you work, and then you have to bring them back again. And you're like, oh, I didn't even realise I'd lost them. But they do disappear when you work, and that's kind of one of the fun things. Working with pastel is you can kind of take things away and then bring them straight back again, which is fine. Let's rearrange you again. Because every time I'm not looking, you've moved. Right, I want to bring this yellow in. Uh, I've got two yellows I want to bring in. One is a really rich yellow, this one, um, which if I can find them, but is Y5A. And you'll see what I mean when I put this down. It's more yellow than the first one I put down. It's kind of what I want. Like that. And then I've got this bright, bright yellow. And this just gives the final shine of where I've got the light. 
it's not much it's not that much difference but it's just enough this bright kind of lemon colour Okay, that's a bit better. No matter what I seem to do, you keep going on a wonk, but that's fine. Right. And we wanted to bring our dark green back in, didn't we? Oh, we're kind of losing. because this is the darker areas and I do want to keep them darker if you know what I mean yeah also darker though up here so I need to bring some of this back in I think not much just a little as it goes up Just lightly scratching it across the paper. I don't want, don't want thick marks. But at the same time, I do want some kind of, you know, I, I want natural marks, marks that basically say, well, I'm not a straight line. I don't need to be a straight line. I don't want a straight line. Like that. And you know what? I'm quite happy with that. I don't know what you guys think, but I don't think it's too bad. It's a nice little evening painting. Um, thank you all for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this session and hopefully I will see you all soon again. Remember to like and subscribe and remember to hit that alert bell if you want to receive notifications of when I upload my next video. Ta-ta for now.